Hey everyone, it's John again to play Immaculate Grim. Going back, playing grid number 40 here as I march my way back to trying to get all the Immaculate Grids up on uh, YouTube for all of you fine followers. And I love each of you for uh, uh, subscribing and uh, commenting on the channel, liking the videos. I'm sure that helps, but um, you know, in the meantime, I just I just have fun doing this. Um, even this morning where I messed up then said something I shouldn't have said, and then uh, decided I, I'm not going to post that. Usually I'll post my mess ups, but um, not not this morning. So I did play it and get in under a minute, but that was the second time I'd seen the grid. And then I got a decent rare score, I think eight on that one. So I was pretty good. But uh, again, pretty big asterisk. Let's share now. Let's play the timed version, then, then play the rarity version. Let's see how we do uh, with grid number 40. This is pre-baseball reference as a reminder. So... A lot more, uh, more variants, I think, in the, um, just some of the, uh, the it, you saw a lot more of, you know, only one or two people working. So that's that's what I've noticed as I've gone back and played these grids. These are pretty much all, um, the time version, not the rarity versions. But let's uh, let's play, and let's play, and away we go, Caminiti. He works for both those teams. McGriff works for these teams. And uh, let's get Gossage. That might be kind of rare, actually. All right. Uh, Bagwell was rookie of the year. And uh, let's see. Longoria was rookie of the year. And Posey was rookie of the year. In fact, I think that was on the grid today. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure Biggio in 1997 won a Silver Slugger. Um, Pena? Carlos Pena? Nice. And Barry Bonds. 46 seconds with not a, a massive, massive rarity score there. So I had the most popular one on at least a few, right? I mean... Well, I actually I don't want to look I don't want to look, but um uh, I mean I think Bagwell will be up there. Um you guaranteed on these three and or four. So Kamini was up at fifty three percent, fifty two for Longoria. Whew. I'm trying to remember who that other rookie of the year was. There was another one in the seventies pitcher. I believe his name starts with an M, Mike something, but not McClintock. I want to say there's an F in there too. I'm Montefusco or something like that. I think that's going to be my guy. Anyway, I'm not, I'm struggling with his name. Well, ho hopefully it'll come up. I type enough right letters and hopefully it'll come up. That's uh, that's my cheat. Um, let's see, sharing this one. Play now. All right. So I, I think I saw there was only three asterisk rookies, rookies of the year. Bagel is at 32%, which means that the others are probably around 32%. So this is not going to be a super low rarity score uh, in any event. Let's try Matt Herges here. He works for all of the NL West teams, as well as I think the Marlins, Guardians, and I'll say the Nationals is the other team. Okay, so he's at 0. 0.5. I think he's starting to creep up in popularity there. Uh, Jose Cruz Jr. is a popular one to go with. for. I, I've used him for both of these. Um, I want to say this is the one where it'll probably make the most sense. So what else? You got James Shields, Will Myers. Yeah, let's go. Jose Cruz Jr. here. All right, that's a nice low rarity score. And then Finley works here, but I don't think that's going to be particularly low. He might be second, actually, to, um, to Caminiti. Man, I... Rookies of the Year for Houston other than Bagwell. I'm trying to think of that one. See if I can get this guy. Yeah, that's the guy, Montefusco. John Montefusco, not Mike. Yes, 3%, which is better than Orlando Spade at 
Um, all right, rookie of the year for Tampa Bay. Um, you know who should have won it really was Rolando Arojo in uh Tampa Bay's inaugural season in 1998. Rolando Arojo had a 3.50 ERA, and that's AL East middle of the steroid era, playing unbalanced schedule, 20 games a year against the mighty 114 win Yankees. Not to mention like the powerful Boston Red Sox. Um, and he went 14, 12, I think with a three fifty ERA, he never, and he was over 200 innings. And it was like one of those, um, you know, just excellent rookie seasons. He didn't really get a chance to build on it. Maybe he had a good BABIP. I don't know, but, um, Ben Grieve won that one who then later played for the Rays. Um, anyway, other, um, rookies of the year. I think, uh, Jeremy Hellickson 2011 is a decent bet because the Rose Arena is, you know, still there. Is it, is it Hellickson? I think so. Yeah. Um, almost, almost, almost second guessing myself there. So I want Pena Longoria works. And I think Crawford works. Other guys aren't coming to mind. I'm going to go Carl Crawford. Woo. 26%. I think there's only like three for them. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember if there's a pitcher. The Giants who was a silver slugger at some point. Jace, no. It was like Mike Hampton for a while and then Zambrano was winning them. Oh, maybe Bumgarner. I'm not saying that with a lot of confidence, but Bumgarner was pretty good. As pitchers go, I don't. Uh, I think Richard Aurelia, that's a compelling pick. Certainly Kevin Mitchell. Um, I got one. Let's see how Joe Morgan does. Nineteen eighty-two. Nice point three for Joe Morgan. Go Joe. All right, for Houston Silver Slugger, I think I'm going to go with Mike Hampton. Go sub one. Love a good pitcher, Silver Slugger. Um, Was Joe Morgan a rookie of the year, actually? I, I'm not actually sure. I don't know if I'm going to get this one. I've, I've done Bagwell. Um... I don't think Bregman won Rookie of the Year. Let's let's try to get a good uh, Astro Padre. Grant Crawford blows up the rarity score by himself. Hellickson's not much help either. So I'm already pushing 40 here. Um, I'm not there yet age-wise, but I am pushing 40 on this grid. Um, let's see. Who are some other people who've, other than Finley... Finley's one I was able to come up with, but I don't think that's going to be rare at all. Um, what about Ricky Gutierrez? Ooh, point one. All right, now for this test. This is this is not one I, I I'm going to know off the top of my head. Bagwell wins in ninety. One, um, I think. And then, I mean, you have a bunch of Dodgers in the 90s, 92 to 96, I think. Um, yeah, I, I don't think you're getting a whole lot of, you know, Biggio didn't win Rookie of the Year. Um, Berkman did not win Rookie of the Year. Um, Hidalgo did not. Did Altuve, maybe. It seems to me Altuve probably like had too many games in his first season. His first year is twenty eleven. I'm not sure. Because I'm pretty sure that would have meant 2012 winning Rookie of the Year. 
And if I'm just going like, and, and I have to think my National League and American League rookies of the year, but if I'm just doing National League for a bit, you get what? Pujols in 01, Jennings in 02, Dontrell Willis in 03, not Scott Pesednik. Um Oh, let's see. Jason Bay is somewhere in there. Ryan Braun in 07. Um, Posey in 2010. I'm skipping a lot of years here, but none of these guys is immediately coming to mind. So if you if you roll back time to the 60s and 70s, I, I, I just don't think I'm going to get this. I think I'm just going to guess someone. I'm going to throw Lee May in there. Let's see how that does. I mean, I don't think it's him, but it wasn't him. Where are the other three? Or other two, rather. Korea won rookie there. I forgot about that. So there's another one taking about 20%. Scroll, scroll, scroll. You're on Alvarez also won. Interesting. Okay, so Bagwell was the only one for a very, very long time. I, I was not going to get these recent guys. It didn't seem to me Korea. Yeah, cool. That uh, completely slipped my radar. All right. Well, didn't get this one, but uh, that is all right. It was a fun one. I guess it's been four Silver Sluggers for Tampa, four Rookies of the Year for Tampa. I think Montefusco might be the best one here. Yeah, interesting stuff. All right. Well, thank you so much for playing. And uh, I'll uh, be back at tomorrow. Peace.